Well, it's Saturday around noontime of 4th of July weekend. And Moosey and I just returned from the flower garden at Lowe's. Moosey had his first outing in his new feather light wheelchair. And he was going up and down those aisles. Rocking and rolling. Look at all the new flowers we picked up. Now, besides all the flowers that I showed you this morning, Moosey has already gone in, it's too hot for him. <laughs> As I say, summer has come with a vengeance. I have been fascinated with topiaries and I have wanted to do one for quite some time now. One of the YouTubers that I watch is Linda Vodder, who has the most beautiful garden in the front of her new cottage in Oklahoma. She's been on quite a while and she's so knowledgeable. She's also beautiful, she does fashion, she loves jewelry and she loves thrifting. Everything I love, except that I'm not the great gardener that she is. And I don't have the beautiful big front lawn that she has just put in with all kinds of plants. But one of her big loves is topiaries and she has them all over the place and I've been wanting to do them. And one of the plants that is a good box a topiary plant to start with is a boxwood. Now when I was at Lowe's I did check out the various uh, plants and there were two kinds of boxwood there. There was a Japanese boxwood and there was also a winter something boxwood and this one seemed the best. I had a gentleman helping me with them and he told me about this one that it does grow right now. There's several stems coming out but down below is uh, one stem. <laughs> and it will grow into a nice tall tree. Now I'm gonna start, when this gets a little bit bigger, I will be transplanting this, and when it gets a little bit bigger, I will start trimming it. I'm gonna go very simple and basic on my first one, and I'm going to just do a big circle, and we see how I can do. I have a nice clay pot that I'm going to transplant it into too. Now Moosey in the car on the way home was saying, well, why don't you make a heart? <laughs> well, maybe that'll be my second one. So I am so excited to do this and uh, I have to learn more about it. It's called Buxus, B-U-X-U-S, Winter GFM. And I'm gonna read all about it. It cost me 10.98 and I'm gonna see how well I can do with my very first topiary. So, I think when I talk, I might have to take one of these little um, wind chimes down. I do love my bird wind chime. Uh, the bird wind chime just makes a few little soft sounds at tiny little bells. But this one is the chimes and it's, when it's a little bit windy, I'm gonna try and quiet it. It does make quite a bit of noise. Now, you've probably been saying, where did she get that great hat? I'm gonna tell you, about six months ago, I saw this hat in my thrift shop, Savers. And it was the dead of winter, but it was such a July 4th All-American hat. I just had to get it, as I say. And now it's July 4th weekend, and I proudly can wear this hat. I got so many compliments by people just walking around the garden shop at Lowe's. Now it is supposed to be hot tomorrow and already I'm perspiring as usual. <laughs> and right now it's quite nice just sitting here, but when you start moving around, bending over, it does get warm. That's why I like to get up at six in the morning and come out, have my coffee out here with Shamu and the birds. And it's so lovely in the morning. In, in the middle of the summer, you have to go in at nine, 9.30 because it's too warm by then. So, I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of the afternoon. I have some things that I can do inside, but I thought I'd just like to show you and tell you that our lovely outing this morning and my future box would take a good look at it now, because hopefully you'll see it 
starting to form soon. I said to the man that was helping me in Lowe's, I hope this is a fast grower because I'm almost 86 years old and I don't have time to watch it grow slowly. <laughs> so, uh, see you later. But Moosey planted a whole bunch of new gladiola bulbs and look at these. They're ready to come out. We must have 10 of them here. So I will have one big, huge bouquet all at once. Look at them all. I bet we'll have almost a dozen at once. Can't wait. We've been watching Micah restone the house with a beautiful Cotswold and brick facing on it. And he's put in a beautiful balcony up there in the great room. Well, here's the last of my chicken challenge five meals out of one rotisserie chicken. I made a chicken noodle soup, put a lot of veggies in there. Uh, well, the onions and carrots and some peppers and filled out the chicken and lots of these nice curly noodles. And we had it last night. It was absolutely delicious. And we had them with fresh tomato sandwiches from the garden. So yummy. Hey guys. I've just chopped up some radishes, about two bunches of radishes, and I've quartered them big. I'm, I'm trying to make, to say, potato salad size radishes. I have boiled them and to the consistency of a, a soft potato when you make potato salad, and they are ready. I have put some chopped onions chopped celery and a little bit of chopped green onions here, waiting to put these together. And we are making a radish, <laughs> have you ever heard of it? A radish potato salad. I don't know whether you call it a potato salad, but it tastes supposedly just like it. I just tasted one of these radishes and you would never know it's a radish. In here, I'm hard boiling some three eggs. Maybe you could use four or five, but I am only doing three. And I'm going to chop those up and use the yolk mixed in with mayo, chop up the white, and we're gonna have a potato salad made from radishes. Some chicken pieces from the deli at Vaughn's that I bought the night before last and I have a breast and a couple of other pieces left. We're just gonna have a simple coal supper tonight with maybe a lettuce wedge with blue cheese on I've it. Chopped up the three hard boiled eggs and put the whites in with the <laughs> potatoes, shall we say. Now these are, believe it or not, the little radishes. I've tasted them, you never know they were radishes. Now I've mushed up the yolk and now I'm gonna add it to the mayonnaise, make the, I'm going to make the uh, sauce and just put it in here. They're in all mixed together. It's making me hungry. This looks great. I've mixed uh, maybe half a cup, three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise in with these hard boiled eggs. By the way, I did have a double egg, so I did get doubles here. So I'm gonna mix it in now. Ready My to go. radish potato salad couple of pieces of chicken and a nice wedge of lettuce with some blue cheese dressing on it. And that's supper for tonight. Everything is so colorful right now. My little pink roses over there. Oh, and the hydrangea over in the corner. So beautiful. This time of morning is so beautiful out here. And I'm out here early. <clears throat> it's a little bit before eight o'clock in the morning because I want to start preparing my um, pots so that the kids can just help me plant and I'll get all the pre-work done when it's cool right now because it's supposed to be up in the high 90s. And I want this to be a pleasurable thing with the children today when Mikey comes up with Dane and Megan. 
right now all those new plants that I bought I've sort of placed them in various places so that they'll all we'll get some water looks like those gladiolas are gonna come out today well we're celebrating <laughs> this 4th of July weekend out in the garden, but very early in the morning because the sun is going to come up. It's going to be extremely hot. And I have Mikey and two children, hopefully who are going to help me plant all of those flowers today. And I want to get everything ready for them. I want to get all the pots ready, filled with dirt so that when the time comes, they probably won't get here until afternoon and I want to make it as easy as possible for us. So that's the plan for today. Lucy's hat today is the clear water river hat that Bonnie gave him with the Bear Hollow logo on the back. And we are sitting here so, so envious of Billy's and Bonnie's whole family up there this whole weekend for a week having so much fun and we're watching all the videos. So in honor of all that, <laughs> Moosey has put on his Nez Perce t-shirt that I bought him when the day Bonnie and I went onto the reservation and we bought some jewelry and other I'm things. I'm not sure it's a Nez Perce Indian, it may be, but I like to call it Sitting Bill. <laughs> sitting Bill will no, do. No, Sitting Bull. <laughs> Whatever. It's a good one. Not too red, white, and blue today, but it will do. So we're going to have a fun day today, aren't we? With those babies here. I yep. know. They're not babies, but we love them. Yep. Oh, anybody, anybody under 21 is a babe to us. <laughs> <laughs> I have another tomato in there. Looks like it might be tomato sandwich time again today. Ooh, two ones that are, look like they're getting ready to be picked. Look at one of my old, I think it might be the last, I keep saying that, but it might be the last gladiola of my last year's crop. Coming. I've assembled a lot of these last night after I took all this out of the car from our shopping trip at the garden shop. <laughs> I did put them all in the garden to be able to get the nighttime watering and this morning's watering. So now they're all nice and um, liquidated. Is that the word? And now I've pulled them out so that I know what we have to plant. And uh, we can help me choose the pots. And I think we're ready to go. I put some others over there. Where do I have... Where did I put my vincas? Once again, I can't remember the name of these. I thought I bought three different colors. I have some purple, pink, red. They're so beautiful. Let me think the name of these. They were only $2.98 to these small plants. Verbenia. That's right, verbenia. And I'm gonna show you a verbenia plant that I've had for a year now that has gotten huge. Now look at this verbena plant. Look at all these beautiful flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous. And this will grow, I guess, about two feet high. And this has been blooming, well, for months now. Here begins my lovely collection, which I've picked up around the garden and stored over here in the patio of my clay pots, which I like because they're natural looking. And this is the beginning of my topiary obsession. And I have picked up a boxwood. And from what I've learned, this is probably the basic plant that you might want to start with. And there's a lot of variety in boxwoods. But this one, I'm gonna come up and show you. There was another one that I was going to pick up because the stem, the singular stem was a little bit longer than this, but the gentleman that was helping me convinced me that this probably was the better one because it was so nice and full and conducive to clipping. So underneath here, hopefully I will find that singular stem and then start clipping from the bottom, giving it a little bit of a haircut. I will probably do this, not today, because I think we want to get other things planted, but it is fun 
um, to look at this and think what I'll be able to do. One of the other things I found out is like I can use a rosemary bush and the rosemary bush that she did was beautiful with a big long stem. So I have my pots, I have my little flag ready to go. Happy Independence Day to all of you out there. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I even have all the paraphernalia that I need. I have the clippers ready to go and this should be fun. Now, the other thing that I did learn from Linda is that as you clip some of these off, you can use them to begin a new topiary. So if you clip them at the right point, evidently you put them in some hormone powder and you can begin many more. Now that would take an awful long time. I don't know whether I'm too interested in those, but this is going to be fun. So I'll keep you posted. helping me with my gardening while Mikey's helping Moosey inside. And she has found some of these little Irish shamrocks that are down in the bottom of this pot. I'm gonna save these. Can you close in on this stain? Because this, these are interesting. These, if we plant them and water them, will become little Irish shamrocks. Mm -hmm. So this is interesting. Now Megan is going to plant two begonias in here. Where's that pretty pink one? See, isn't that pretty? These two begonias, they're somewhat of a succulent. That means that these really are very easy growing plants. And if we can get two in here, she's going to show me how to plant them. So let's, what have I showed you now? I, you've learned all about how to loosen the roots, right? <coughs> God bless you. <laughs> My photographer just sneezed. Okay, loosen up those roots. Get your fingers dirty. Good girl. And I'll leave you to do it, and I'll get you some more dirt. You might want to dig a little deeper hole there. Okay? Good girl. I think you're going to be a gardener one of these days. I think you need more dirt. I'll be right back. sides. Do you need more? Then I have a nice little watering can. Can you get two in there, do you think, or just one? Yeah, I can get two. Okay. Come. I plant this white one. Okay. Whoa. This is a, a pot that has a zinnia plant in it. And the zinnia is kind of, looks like a little, little sick now, doesn't he? But Megan has a celosia, a beautiful plant that will grow maybe a foot or two high. And she's gonna plant that in there to help Megan. make the zinnia happy. And another plant for that pot. What do you think, Megan? Yeah. One on the other side. It will make that whole thing look nicer. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, no. That's my tomato plant. He has to go someplace different. Let me look around to find one. I forgot to film an ending to this video. <laughs> but I would like to wish you all a very happy 4th of July. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend very much. Let's all pray for peace, especially for this wonderful country of ours. And above all, thank you for watching, and God bless us all.